Welcome back to my channel, Light as a Feather Tarot. So this is going to be a pick a card reading. So this is for your money, career, and prosperity. So we're going to look at the, the energies around your success, your fortune, your good luck, your money, and your career. So before I begin with the three groups, um, I wanted to start off with a couple affirmations. Um, Spirit was giving me this energy that for some people, uh, manifesting money is easy while for others it may be difficult at times so these are the affirmations um, that might assist you with bringing in your manifestations even quicker so the first one is i am a money magnet um, the second one is money flows freely to me the third one is i naturally attract good fortune and the last one is I am financially free. So, you know, you can create your own. You can find some, you know, online, you know, take them to, you know, the mirror in your bathroom or your workplace or have them in your car. I even have them in my wallet. And that way it'll just be a reminder of you that, um, that money is energy right so you want to make sure that when you are paying bills you're paying it with like an attitude of gratitude you're releasing that money into the universe or into the world and you want that to come back tenfold you know you don't want to be holding on to it so tight that you know it causes that friction and then it's it's even slower for it to come back all right, so let's go ahead and get started. So we have group one, group two, and group three. So you can either pause the video so you can kind of meditate, connect with the cards, and see which groups resonate with you. You can pick one group, two groups, or all three if you like. So I'll give you a moment to connect with the cards. All right. Also, this is a general reading. If you would like something more personal, you can always see all of my contact information below. All right, so let's go ahead and see what messages Spirit has for group one, for money, career, and prosperity. So we're starting out with patience. Any day now, like this guy right here, he looks like he is about to lose it. <laughs> he, he seems very impatient, very stressed, very tense. You know, the stake is right there. He just has to wait a little bit longer. So there may be some patience when it comes to your money, your career, and your prosperity. Next we have get back into balance. And then last but not least, we have within the next few weeks. So this is like a timekeeper. You know, so speaking about your, you know, your money, your career, your prosperity, you know, you have any day now, you know, spirit is just saying um, exercise a bit of patience and you have a timekeeper. So that gives you a little bit more insight of, you know, when these things may be coming in. Look at that. Nine of Pentacles. Six of Cups, Knight of Swords. So starting off, you know, I feel like with the Nine of Pentacles, you know, this is, you know, this is what you're manifesting. You're manifesting, you know, your abundance, your financial security, um, your prosperity. And, you know, in the Garden of Eden, there is no lack. You know, this is a very abundant energy. And I feel like what you're manifesting has to do, it could do with your family or if you have children, maybe to support. If not, it just has to do with your comfort. You know, you want to get back to the, a certain comfort, a certain luxury in your life. So I'm going to get some clarifying cards. And you have the Knight of Swords. So this is some type of swift action coming in. Could be some type of clarity. So, Spirit, can you clarify the Nine of Pentacles? 
Whoa. All right, so you start off with the High Priestess. So even though you're in this energy of, you know, having to be patient, you know, I feel like you know that it's going to be worth it. You have the High Priestess here, so this is you tapping into your intuition. I think you know that your abundance is on the way. That spirit is working behind the scenes, assisting you with this. It could even be somebody from the past um, bringing, bringing you these messages of these abundance coming in as well. Six of Cups. So you have some type of knowing that your abundance is coming in. Like I said, it could be like a blast from the past. Um, but if not, it's, it's some type of nostalgia, some type of emotion of like innocence or childhood memories. You know, if you think about financial freedom as an adult, if we all had financial freedom like we did when we were children, like it's just a very carefree energy. Imagine if we could take that energy and apply it to money, career, prosperity. We would we would live in, you know, the nine of the pinnacles energy at all times, right? You know, they say that children are some of the best um, manifestors, and I truly believe it. Because they have a very carefree, a very innocent, um, it's a hundred percent faith at that point. Like, hey, we're going to get ice cream this week. We're going to get ice cream this week. And then it happens, you know, and then they're like, wow, you know, they're, they're manifesting and they're not even aware of what they're doing. So next you have the hangman. So this is you really reflecting, really going within, just kind of looking at things from different angles. So this is you, you know, this is you being focused, being dedicated, whether you're focused on your family or your children um, or your comforts, you know, what, what you want to bring into your life. What luxuries, what comfort, what good fortune, success you want to achieve. You're not going to give up with the King of Wands energy. You know, he once he, he or she sets his mind to something, you know, they're going to follow through with it. Next, we have the Two of Swords. So you're going to come to a point where you're going to have to make a decision. And you may not have all of the answers. And it may feel a little bit difficult or you may feel a little bit bound or trapped. Like, I'm not sure which direction I should go in. But Spirit is saying regardless of what choice you pick, it's going to lead you to the Ten of Cups. It's going to lead you to emotional fulfillment, happiness, joy, bliss. This is like emotional security right here. So with this Knight of Swords energy, you have the Ten of Wands. This is a, a ending of a cycle. For some of you, this cycle could have been like a long time coming. This cycle ending is going to lead you to your nine of pentacles, to your abundance, to your prosperity, to your happiness. Look at that with the sun. And I feel like the, the time period is going to be within the next few weeks. So, you know, get ready you know, to, to make a decision because at the bottom of the deck, you have the queen of swords. I think you know that this decision is coming up that you have to make, and it's going to lead to, you know, you being celebrated, you feeling successful. You know, this seven of cups is your dreams, your aspirations, you know, you're building, you know, your prosperity, your career, your finances, whatever it is, you're, you're building, you're working on the building blocks. And this was your plan all along. And you're going to, you know, spirit is saying you're going to be successful with it. So just have a little bit of patience, you know, get some balance into your life and know and expect that your, your, your blessings and your good fortune will be, um, be here in the next few weeks. So good for you guys. I'm interested to know. Please comment below. Let me know how these messages are resonating. I, I truly feel that some of you are 
you're expecting this to come in you're anticipating this so let me know below in the comments how these messages are resonating all right next we have the second group for money prosperity and career so we're starting off with loss allow yourself to grieve so some of you you know may have you know gone through some type of financial loss um, if not financial loss maybe your um, maybe the energy around money with you is just uh, in a place of lack you know and you kind of have to shake that energy off so that you're able to look at that let go you have loss here and you have let go you know this is about manifesting and letting it go and letting go of the how how is this going to happen right so both of these speak about faith so whether you lost something financially you know have that energy and know that you are a money magnet you you're you're fine you are financially free you know say those affirmations so you can recruit on this loss or this lack that you're feeling you know ask the universe to let go of any uh, feelings with money that don't serve you or it's not for your highest good it's, it's truly going to help you have a lighter energy when it comes to um, your relationship and your energy with money so you have create your own luck so you've gone from loss to let go to create your own luck very beautiful so let's see what cards we have ten of cups all right two of cups the devil all right So I'm gonna get some clarifying cards. So Spirit, can you clarify the Ten of Cups in regards to success, fortune, money, career? So I feel like you're definitely focused on your home life, your emotional security. Seven of Swords. Spirit, can you clarify the Seven of Swords? Okay. So, I feel that with the Seven of Swords, you know, you're focused on your emotional security. You're focused on your emotional fulfillment. You're focused on moving away from anything that doesn't serve you. Like, I feel like you're getting organized. You're, you're getting your ducks in a row. And you're really moving away from anything that doesn't serve you because... You see this guy in the picture, he's he's picking these up and he's leaving these too. He's like, I don't really need that anymore, right? I'm done with that. That doesn't serve me anymore. So the more that you focus on your emotional fulfillment, your goals, your manifestations, right? Not focusing on the loss, focusing on creating your own luck. The, the more you move away from this energy of loss, it's going to bring you in the energy of, you know, success, celebrating yourself, you know, with the three of cups showing up here. There may be some somebody significant helping you with this process of loss and letting go or possibly creating your own luck. Doesn't have to be romantic, but it's a, you and another person. Y'all have some type of soul connection. And I feel like they're truly going to help you when it comes to your relationship with with money with prosperity yeah they're gonna i feel like they're gonna give you some advice and you're gonna have a change of attitude you know <laughs> so spirit just said something like pouty pants like mr pouty pants i don't know what that means but you know maybe some of you are crying over spilt milk maybe you had some type of financial loss and you know maybe this person is gonna be like hey you know sometimes you win sometimes you lose but you have to move forward you can't stay in that energy of loss you can't stay in this energy like the puppy you can't just stay in the energy of you know of sadness you have to let it go you know money comes and goes right look at that comes and goes cycles 
the ebbs and flows in life, the will of fortune. Spirit is saying that your luck is about to turn. This speaks about divine timing. So you have the two of swords. So there's some type of decision that you're going to have to make. And it may not be an easy decision. You know, it's going to be your choice. You're really going to have to go within and, you know, don't let any. I'm feeling like this is almost like old habits or old way of thinking or, you know, maybe you learn to think a certain way about finances and money in the past, you know, um, this is like some type of like you feel obligated or heavy or tied down with this devil energy, you know, or stuck like, hey, I lost the money. Now I don't have anything. Now I'm just in this pity party, you know, don't allow your thinking to hold you back because once you push through this energy you're going to be moving into a successful completion you're going to learn some type of lesson on a soul level and this two of cups could be your higher self it doesn't have to be another person you know you could be meditating you could um, receive some type of downloads from your spirit guides from your angels from your higher self <clears throat> This cycle completion is going to move you into the Ten of Pentacles. Expect it. Expect the blessings to come in. Expect the financial security to come in. You know, happy home life, security, uh, financially and emotionally. So very beautiful. You guys are going to have to comment below. Let me know, you know, how, how these messages are resonating. You have strength here. So this is about you being courageous. This is about you not giving up. This is about you having faith in the universe. To let go after loss, I mean, that's, that's strength in itself. You know? It's going to bring you into more of a balance financially. It's going to bring more harmony um, when it comes to your money, career, and prosperity. You know, because, you know, with the bottom of the deck, you may have had some past hurts. You know, you may have had some past sorrows um, when it comes to money because you have the lost card here. But three of swords speaks about the past. This is this is healing now. Right. But you're focused, you're dedicated, you're going to be moving forward. You're going to you're going to get that stability. It's going to be just it's going to be fair. You're going to move from. You know, the five of pentacles, lack, loss, and the justice, which speaks about balance. So I really feel that, you know, you're going to be creating more balance in your life. And as the time progresses, things are just, they're going to get, they're going to get better once you overcome this, uh, this devil energy, you know, maybe old ways of, of thinking about things. All right, guys. So let's see. Last but not least, start with the third group. This is for your money, career, and prosperity. So we're starting off with arrogance. Get off of the pedestal. So maybe we need to be a little bit more humble. Maybe have an attitude of gratitude. The more grateful you are. You know, everything that you're grateful for, you bring those things into your life. Prioritize your health. So you might have to prioritize the health of your finances, the health of your mindset when it comes to your finances. I'm getting that really strongly for some of you. If you believe, you know. So this is about having faith in the universe, having faith in yourself. You know, having faith in the fact that you're able to manifest the, you know, the material um, blessings into your life. So we have the eight of cups, five of cups, king of cups. Ooh, so there are a lot of emotions when it comes to money a lot of emotions 
So we're starting off with the Eight of Cups. So this could be you moving forward. Moving forward to something that serves you better. This could be you manifesting. Moving forward as well. Spirit, can you clarify the Eight of Cups? So yeah, this is you thinking. This is you being in your head, reflecting about what the future looks like. You know, what does my future look like as in regards to my money, my career, my success? You're, you're really in a reflective mode. You're really going within. You're pondering. You're thinking. Looking at it from different angles. You could be, you know, you could have, you know, had some type of loss recently in the past when it comes to money, you know. Um, but the Three of Swords typically is past hurt, past loss. So you're healing from this, you know, with the hangman, maybe you're thinking, you know, how do I prioritize my money, right? How do I build a healthy relationship in regards to into my finances and my material gains? You know, I feel like you're you, this is your goal is to be in this energy of the Ten of Cups of emotional fulfillment, you know? Some of you could have money and not appreciate it, right? Not be in the, the attitude of gratitude. If you don't appreciate something, you know, you could, you could almost be in the energy of always looking for the next best thing. You know, you might go out and go on shopping sprees when, whenever you feel lack or if you don't feel fulfilled you might just spend money spend money spend money spend money and you don't feel you don't get that same feeling you did the first time now that might not be the situation for all of you but i am getting that with the arrogance get off of the pedestal for others of you there needs to be more of a balance in your energy with money with believing with faith with how you handle your money, you know? When you pay a bill, you know, say it. Hey, I am grateful and thankful that I am able to pay this bill effortlessly. I know I'm getting it back tenfold or however you wanna say it. But when you pay your bills and if you feel anxious, if you feel tight and you're like, oh my God, I only have, you know, $150 left in my account, then maybe you need to burn some sage. Burn some sage when you pay your bills. You know, if you feel like you're tense or you're stressed, burn some sage, ask your guides, ask your angels to assist you while you're paying bills, while you're working on finances so you can attract, you know, this emotional fulfillment. Because with the five of cups here, you know, this is almost an energy of, you know, crying over spilled milk, what didn't work. But with the sun card clarifying this, I feel that I feel like some of you are going to come to a point because in this picture, this guy is kneeling down like he's praying, you know, I feel that I feel like some of you are almost like, thank you so much for what I do currently have in my life. I don't know. I feel like you're going to have some type of aha moment when you are in that hangman energy and reflecting and looking at things from a different angle and you're going to realize that you have these two cups behind you that they're full and that is going to lead to happiness joy and bliss it's going to lead to that of fulfillment because like i said there's a lot of emotion here when it comes to money You know, I feel like you're going to feel like the universe is guiding you, supporting you. Some of you may be getting signs from the universe. This could be a father figure as well. Someone of power supporting you. Some of you could be dealing with a court case as well with justice coming up here. And if you are dealing with a, with a court case, you know, just know that everything's going to work out just and fair and you know, everything's going to become more balanced. And even if it's not a court case, 
you know, things are going to become much more balanced, especially with all this emotion here. So when it comes to money, if you feel that you're not grounded, make sure you're grounding yourself. You know, look up some grounding exercises to help even out all of this emotion. So next you have the King of Cups. Look at that. So the King of Cups, you know, he or she is someone that is very control of their emotions, very compassionate. This is the energy that you should have when it comes to your money, your career, and your prosperity. This is when you believe, you know, you're going to regain that balance. I feel like in the energy of the King of Cups, not only are you going to regain balance, you're going to manifest effortlessly. Money is just going to be flowing into your life, opportunity, prosperity, and you're. I think you're going to just be like, oh, wow, like all I had to do was you know, change my mind or change my mindset. So you have the moon here. So, you know, I feel that, you know, your dreams may be important during this time. You know, with the moon energy, it's like a, it's almost like a dreamlike state, an illusion. Things may not be clear, but this is when you have to believe. You know, you can't manifest and then manifestations just come in left and right, left and right. You know, there are going to be those times where you have that downtime or you have that divine timing where you have to be patient, right? So when you're in this area of this fog or, you know, you're like, well, I manifested, where is it at? Sometimes it's quick, sometimes it's not. You know, there's a balance to it. There's a balance to this generosity that's going to be coming in, but no one's coming in. Some type of financial generosity coming in your way. You know, this could be unexpected or expected um, money coming in. And there's that divine timing, right? With the will of fortune. And, you know, whatever this generosity that comes in, it's really going to add to your home life, to your stability, right? To your foundation. Very beautiful energy. So, guys, please comment below. Let me know how these messages are resonating. I truly like reading each and every one of your comments. That concludes your reading. So, please like, share, and subscribe. Take care. Be safe. Until next time.